Well, let's talk about the Barbarians, shall we? Because the Barbarians have been BTFO'd. No Again? more. Well, well. Yeah, I mean, which, which kind which, of... Which Barbarians are we on about? Well, the Aztecs, in particular. <laughs> it's their time. You know, if anyone deserves a beating, it's the Aztecs oh, in this that, day and age. Is that what this segment <laughs> is on about? <laughs> yeah. going to have a very media-heavy podcast today. This is good. I like, this is where I shine. You know, that's, that's things I enjoy. We'll start off just by mentioning some other people who got BTFO'd in history, this being the book club we did on Reflections of a Ravaged Century. The people who got BTFO'd were, um, well, the public, really. <laughs> <laughs> in all, all of the socialist world, which was, I think, about two-thirds of the population, something like that. So, you know, great. Yeah. So, go and check that out. Otherwise, we shall begin with what the hell I'm talking about, which is um, video games. So, this video game trailer... Time to play video. Yeah, video over here was released. Uh, IGN put out the trailer. Well, they you know, stole it off the company and posted it. I've always kind of been annoyed IGN about that. does that. I, well... That's IGN's sole role, isn't it? I mean, some, maybe someone can explain this to me. I get that it's great for IGN to post your game trailer because, you know, it's free advertising. But at the same time, I've always been a bit annoyed that all the advertisements for games seem to go to, like, these soulless corporations like IGN, which, I, I don't know, I've got no love for. Nobody likes IGN. Yeah. Nobody say. cares. When, Controversial when the, take. When was the last time IGN were even relevant? Anyway, but you can see here, 45 million views on this one post. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Advertising. And the game being here that you can play as an Aztec destroying the evil Spanish conquistadors who are, I don't know, the far right or something and have come to destroy your beautiful ways of wearing nappies and murdering your children for this the sun god. This does not seem entirely historically accurate. <laughs> well, the point being, you can play as an Aztec with Span the conquistadors and it's a uh, you know, survival action you RPG. You can play a man wearing a nappy with a, a big spiky stick <laughs> fighting successfully, apparently, against men in full suits of armour with big sharp, big sharp swords, big steely knives. I mean, they are warriors, presumably, from Spain there. And so the, the gameplay looks a bit goofy, was, was my immediate response. You know, these trained, armoured Spanish warriors just being beaten up by a man with club. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> big bonking stick. Yeah, you know, but the narrative also seems to be pretty simple, which is, you know, defend your homeland from evil Spanish invaders, which as English people we can um, sympathise with. I'm anyway. going to buy it and play it and just fail over and over and over again. So there'll be less Aztecs in the world, isn't it? Yes. Okay. And then I will switch it off and return it. <laughs> <laughs> I got the good ending, thank you. <laughs> Just die once and then hand it back in. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, but we'll go to the next link, because most of the complaints were about historical accuracy about this Vigigarm, which uh, seems reasonable, I guess. I mean, it's a Vigigarm, so why not have some realism? You know, just a little bit, such as, as this chap mentions here. Well, I mean, it wasn't just 300 Spaniards who turned up and conquered the whole empire. Like, they turned up and got the people who were being oppressed to side with them to then slaughter the Aztecs, which... It's a, a pretty common tactic throughout history. Yeah. And we'll get back to them in a minute because um, there's some wonderful historicism on uh, mm. what they were up to, which is good work. We'll get the next one here because uh, a Mexican archaeologist also had some similar complaints and also some non-similar complaints. The main one here being that, you know, why is he dressed in a nappy with tattoos? Instead of actually how they were dressed. Because this is how Western libs think <laughs> savage tribes looked. To be honest, I don't think it's just Western libs. I think it's all Westerners when you just think of the barbarians. I mean, no one really thinks of the image on the right, do they? If you, if you have the stereotype in your <laughs> The head. image on the right looks like average Mexican football fan. <laughs> <laughs> Way worse. <laughs> day of the day, didn't Give it? Give it in for the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, basically. But he also mentions here, this person, um, for some reason. He says, It's a terrible collection of clichés, primed with complaints by Nazis and Spanish nationalists, open brackets, same difference, that can't fathom the, themselves as anything but the protagonists. I don't, I don't really get where the Nazis came into this. Uh, I, I would assume that they're trying to do the historic connection between the Spanish nationalists on the nationalist side of the Spanish Civil War, who accepted money from... Germany and Italy. Therefore, conquistadors are Nazis? Yes. So, uh, I don't think so, but whatever. <laughs> we'll get to that more in a moment. Because um, first and foremost, I mean, he is right that more people do need to play map games. Because the idea that the uh, Aztecs can't be the protagonists, I mean, no, people who play map games have been enjoying this for quite a long time. If we go to the next one here, we can see. I mean, this is medieval uh, Total War 2. <laughs> which is a very good uh, series of videos from this chap here, <laughs> where he always just replays some nation and then just destroys the entire world good fun anyway talking I mean, about that's which. the only reason you play these games right you choose gandhi 
And then you take over the entire world. Nuke the world. The glorious Indian Empire. And then just map paint. Just paint in the map your colour. Look. And then you show people and they don't care. Because why would they? Because it's a game. Yeah. And then you realise you've wasted 3,000 hours of Hoi 4 gameplay. This seems somewhat autobiographical all of a sudden. You should steam my Steam profile. <laughs> Shall we carry on? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Shall we back carry on? So getting back to the medieval filter aspect. Because, I mean, that is true. I mean, I, I spoke to you about this. I couldn't find yeah. the real image. Uh, for people listening, there's there's like the medieval filter because of course medieval times that there was color, and then when the movies come and display what the medieval world looked like, it's all torches and dirt and everyone wearing grey for some reason. It's interesting because you can actually watch this happen in real time in uh, Game of Thrones. If you actually go back to the first series, you can see how much more colourful everything is. They're taking the time to try and get the colours of everybody's outfits correct to what they were depicted as being in the books. And then by the last series, there's a big uh, smudged grey filter oh. on everything. Everybody started just wearing black or various blackish shades of whatever colour they used to be wearing. Everybody's gone from being able to smile and occasionally joke to being miserable and occasionally making a joke about penises. And there's no summer ever. It's constantly like autumn. Well, I mean that's more law-wise in, yeah, yeah. in the series, but but still. I mean I mean the filter is is genuinely real. It, it is very annoying. I remember because we found um I, I couldn't you, find it for this. I was going to say if you segment. found that one because nah. you also showed me there was the example of the actual preserved village. So, so there's there's a museum village, so a village perfectly preserved and a museum piece. So people can go and see what medieval life was like. And the historians who keep upkeep it do a very, very good job of keeping everything accurate. And it's quite nice. It doesn't look very bad. So then a film company turned up and asked them if they could film a film there about medieval life. And they said, sure. And the film company covered the place in dirt, including all of the buildings, uh, put torches up for some reason, and also destroyed all the windows and replaced them with wooden windows. Yep. It, and it is funny how these people, when they look back on the world, they think that just because they, the people living back then didn't have modern tools for hygiene means that they had no like standards for hygiene face, at yeah. all. It's, it's almost like Monty Python history, except Monty Python was a joke, yeah. and very self-consciously a joke. But that's not the main point of contention with um, Barbarian Simulator over here. Where instead, the point of contention is m m politics, I suppose. Because if you go to the next one here, of course, a lot of people were posting this meme. Oh, look, here comes the far right to stop the glorious Aztecs. Oh, I saw many of these memes popping up all of a sudden. And it is right, the, the, the demonization of the Spanish as the evil undoers who turned up and destroyed a mostly peaceful empire of peace. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the stabbings were bloody, but mostly peaceful. Yeah, the you can <laughs> sacrifice. <laughs> Overwhelmingly, this was the majority response to the IGN trailer, which is just like, are you kidding? Like we, yep. we really are. <laughs> like you can play as the Aztec. That's cool. You know, not many games let you do that. That's that's maybe true, but we're not really going to say they're the heroes, are we? I, I would really love if just as a complete about face troll meme that they're pulling the opening of the game is your guy is like the human sacrifice are about to plunge the yeah. knife in and then they show up and then you start playing you're just bricking babies in the head yep uh, oh god the, the Look, racist it's the, of <laughs> it's, it's the snp <laughs> the spanish nationalist party <laughs> <laughs> the phalange has showed up. No! Yeah. Well, we'll get the next link here because there was a lot of S posting, obviously. You know, sorry, but the human sacrifices will stop. Chad Conquistador there. It's one of my favourite memes. So, I mean, these are all good fun. And um, this also came with the demand from the public, which was, let us play as the Conquistadors. Come on. Why, why not? And um, You know why not. Well, if we go to the next one here, but... People started responding, no, the, Eve, the Spanish are evil. They're basically murderers. Look at these KKK conquistadors over here. That's some nice fanfic that they've drawn <laughs> there. Because that's not actually what happened, though, is it? <laughs> You're telling me the, the Aztecs weren't some kind of golems that, that spit fire <laughs> at horses? They, surprisingly, they did not have Power Rangers mecha zords yeah. available to fight back the conquistadors with. But if we go to the uh, next link here, I mean, I don't know, man pretty bad uh, this person posting some history i knew that the aztec conquest was um less than pretty because the aztecs were horrible i didn't realize how horrible till i uh brushed up on this so this guy is posted here i haven't even looked into detail of the fall of the aztec capital but it's insane how the aztecs kept sacrificing dudes in the middle of the battle <laughs> 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 Wait, boys, keep sacrificing. The tides will turn eventually. If we kill more babies, the Spanish will leave. Have you, have you seen those memes where it's like the person digging and he's about to hit the gold and then he turns around and leaves, <laughs> and leaves it? They were just one sacrifice yeah. away. The gods would have descended and saved them. Uh, they, they say right until the end. 
and uh, how the... I don't know how to say the name, because it's like T-L-A-X-C-A... Whatever. Tlaxcalans. Tlaxcalans? We're going to call them the... the, the, the losers. Cullens over there. Call no. them the losers. Well, they were the losers, um, but they hated the Aztecs, because the Aztecs had been oppressing them and genociding them. Oh, all right. So then the Spanish turned up, they were like... Um, yeah, we're going to side with you and genocide the Aztecs. Quote here. So uh, the, the Cullens over here, they had been forced to hand over an annual quota of young men and women to be sacrificed and eaten at the Great Pyramid in the capital of the Aztec Empire and now saw their chance for revenge. So there's a historian who wrote a letter to Emperor Charles of Spain. Quote, We had more trouble in preventing our allies from killing them with such cruelty than we had in fighting the enemy. For no race, however, savage, has ever practised such fierce and unnatural cruelty as the natives of these parts. Oof. Because these people had been essentially, you know, butchered by the Aztecs, so when they had their chance to get revenge, um, they started putting, he mentions, Spaniards on every street so that there would be a Spaniard to try and intervene and keep the peace. <laughs> and they just couldn't, because there's 150,000 natives butchering the locals. And then, like, 500 Spaniards or whatever. I just like the idea of the Spanish conquistador being your local Bobby. Walking, well, that's down, <laughs> walking down the street. Hey, oh, what's going on around here, then? Pulls out his sword. And like... <laughs> um, that was apparently what they tried to do, and then just sort of gave up because they realised they couldn't police the streets because there weren't enough of them. And so a genocide concluded. I mean, that's the funny part about all of this, which is the, the claims against, oh, my God, the Spaniards genocided the Aztecs. No, fact check false, actually. Overwhelmingly, it was other natives genociding the Aztecs for being oppressive. Well, well, for genociding them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're going to genocide us. Well, we'll genocide you right back. So, it, to be so, so in this, the Spanish get there and they have a difficult choice. Which genocidal maniacs do you want <laughs> yeah. to team with? There is actually a really funny um, series of first-hand accounts. I can't remember the YouTube channel. Maybe I should have included it as well. I think it's Real World History or, or History in Their Words or some crap like that. Just type in, uh, you know, interaction with the Aztecs first-hand account. And you'll find a guy who just does voiceovers for the diary entries of the Spanish in various uh, trips to meet the Aztecs from the first sightings up until the, the fall of the Aztec Empire. And it's hilarious every single time. I mean, like, at one point they turn up and some previous group of Spaniards have been killed on the orders of the Aztec king. So they, they bring this up to the Aztec king and they're like, yeah, you're going to come back with us as a hostage. And for some reason he just agrees. And they're oh, just he's, like, he's, oh, okay then. Yeah, they were like, that was easy. <laughs> just take the emperor hostage. And oh. when they find out that, yes, it was his word as to why they did this, they, they just launched like a rebellion within the city and the whole thing turns into chaos. But I'll let people go and what find out. a strange out. series of events. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole first interactions between the, the Indians and the Europeans is oh, just comical, frankly. If, if horrifying. But the dev team did a cool thing, of course, which is they turned around and went, update, we hear you loud and clear. Oh, really? You will be able to choose, now join the Conquistadors when we launch in 2025, uh, to fight the oh, cast... Oh, so they've got enough time in that case to be able to develop all of this. Presumably, to fight the cast of sacrifice-making priests, or join the Aztec warriors to repel the newcomers. That's that's actually quite nice to see. that they have Because, you know, I have no qualms with actually playing as the Aztecs, but no, the choice is wonderful. I mean, could you imagine sitting there and being like, I hate playing as, I don't know, the Aztecs in medieval Total War II... I want to play as the Europeans. Cool, yeah. Great. All right, there you go. You know, or vice versa. It's Player options are always a good thing, and I support it. I always, It's always annoyed me, actually, that you can't play more factions. It's the one thing that makes a game worse, in my opinion. Why couldn't you side with the Enclave, is all I'm saying. They seem like good boys. This is true. I mean, <laughs> you, you went on about Avatar 2 a few months ago when it came yeah. out. For the first Avatar, they released a game on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and such, where as part of the story that you play through the single player, you can choose at one point whether you're going to side oh, with, with the Navi or the human beings. And if you side with the human beings, it is literally just Navi Genocide Simulator. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I didn't know that. Is it good? It's a generic third-person shooter from I 2009. But, but, but enough to... I've, I've heard some people say it's better than you would expect. Okay, well, you know, we're, we're He's too... going to track it down now. We're born too late to actually engage in colonial genocide, so we can... <laughs> so we can simulate it instead. <laughs> Have you seen the reviews for EU4, actually? EU4? So Europa Universalis 4? No. It's a game about where you play as um, a country during the imperial area and the medieval times. So, of course, it's it is essentially European colonial genocide simulator the game 
It's a good game. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it just, just happens to have those aspects. You don't have to engage you, in genocide. You don't have to. No. You, but... can, you can play as the Ottomans and be even worse. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, I'm a big fan of choice. This is great. If we go to the next one here, we can see some uh, people making the point that, you know, other games don't have such choices, such yep. as Red Dead 2, where you parry as a really evil gangster who supports women's rights and fights bigotry and intolerance. This is what we call Peaky Blinders Syndrome. <laughs> You can commit crime and murder, but no racism. No racism, right? <laughs> I can't do it, but Max. Miserable. But you're just, totally just right. sound as sad as possible, and you'll sound like a brummie. Yeah. I know, I know there's the Jimmy Carr way of doing it, but I'm not allowed to swear, so... Oops. Oh, yeah. I'm being censored. All right, but we'll go to the next one here, because there's some people who didn't take kindly to all this. So you know, a million views on this chap. So apparently the developers of the Aztec game bowed down to the Nazi backlash, allowing you to play as the Conquistadors. Oh, goodness. I mean, I, 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 10,000 likes. I wish it was so easy for me to get so many likes on Twitter. My goodness. We've been around. I, I, we know that the word Nazi literally means nothing to these people. It but... means it means person who isn't a modern day progressive. That's all yeah. it means. That's all it's ever meant. Embarrassing, though. You should feel embarrassed for saying such things. What was that noise you oh, just God. made? My goodness. I don't usually have coffee. I had coffee earlier killing me i mean i only just started drinking it over the weekend and i'm having a fantastic time that's why i don't drink it it's, it's a bad it drug. makes you happy yeah gives you energy callum doesn't like any of these things purge anyway they also say it seems to be delayed the gaming the game too because they have to add more stuff to accommodate people who want genocide simulator and do you remember when they referred to what was a hogwarts legacy it was a new genre genocide simulator i mean it is getting there now we kind of do need a tag on steam if you're listening, gay Ben. Um, well, I mean, to be fair, from these people's perspectives, if they actually knew anything about the history of the Aztec Wars, then... <laughs> you already did play as the genocide. Yeah, you, you were already playing as a genocidal force, so either way, it must be classified as a genocide simulator. Yeah. There were a fair few responses to, um, oh no, you're a Nazi if you don't want to side with the Aztecs, which is a weak argument. A, a very weak argument. Quite a lot of people were like, do I... If, if you don't side with baby murderers, you're a Nazi. Well, um... See Kyle. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you got the next to, one here. <laughs> I don't know if we'll have to edit that bit out there. Well, I just I, I'm not a baby murderer. So a lot of oh, people yeah. just responded with like Chad images. <laughs> Obviously, they're not Nazis because they don't. They, no, like no, the Nazis don't have anything to do with this period of history. You weirdo. It, so. it is a very annoying anachronism that every single conflict throughout history, no matter how morally grey on either side, has to be fit into the black and white moral framework of, ooh, yeah. good guy, good guy, bad guy, Nazi. I, I love, you, you either get it from different sides of the political spectrum, that either the good guys won every time in history, or the good guys lost in every time in history. There's a bit more on. complex grey area than that. Yeah, it might be. Might be that sometimes the bad guys won, sometimes the bad guys lost. But what sometimes do I it was a compromise between the two. Sometimes the good guys had to do bad things to win. Maybe there were no maybe there were no bad guys. Maybe there were no good guys. Maybe it was just people fighting. <laughs> maybe it's two thousand and seven, bro. Wake up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Go the next Halo one. Halo 3's just come out. <laughs> Let's hit the couch and get forge. There's a few more responses. I mean, this one was pretty. Oh uh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the local developers of um, Aztec game pictured here, presumably. You're really playing around now that we're de demonetized, aren't you? Well, I can't. But, but no, this is still fine if we were monetized. Oh, that's... oh all right, okay. Because then. it's ridiculous. Obviously, it was like, why, why would a bunch of Polish guys who were developing a game about playing as the Aztecs be Nazis for it? I mean, I mean, it's even more comical whenever you just call a Pole a Nazi. I mean, it's just what's wrong with you? I mean, it's like calling Jews Nazis. It's just like, why? Because they're making a game about the Aztecs. You're high, sir. But we're going to the Steam discussions because that's where the real conversation is at, fellas. As we've proven many a time. <laughs> So, <laughs> some fella here decided to post can you imagine making a Nazi game where you kill off Jewish people literally the same thing it's not it's though not. is it it's just not it's really not <laughs> we should have kept it Aztec now you invited all the racist that's not me butchering the reading that's how he wrote it and guarantee this will be by highly inaccurate and have 300 contestadors being a million fairy tale and well, no, if it was accurate, they'd, they'd bring in the other natives to kill the other natives. Yeah, this is, this is true. Doesn't make any sense. Um, user was banned for the post below. So. I was about to say, I just noticed that underneath. <laughs> I, I don't think the developers are naughty because they, they've been banning anyone who's engaging in such speech, obviously. I, I do remember once upon a time, though, even extra credits actually did bring up the idea that maybe you should play as an evil Nazi properly. 
instead of just the comical Nazi? Well, I thought extra credits mainly were known now for that ridiculous video that they mm. did. You you play an online game, and then all of a sudden, you're a Nazi. <laughs> you didn't choose this. <laughs> it's like, you didn't ask for it. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I choose <laughs> oh, no. Say <laughs> so the players of, um, you know, the latest Battlefield. Maybe I wanted to play as a black female Nazi. That's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you can do that in yeah. one of those, can't you? Literally can. But anyway, but the idea that, uh, I mean, just a whole side conversation about games set in World War II... I mean, they are increasingly worse because they refuse to put the swastika in there, for example, and make you play as black lesbians. Which, which is just silly. Yeah. On every level. Do you remember back when, I don't know, but before Call of Duty was the main World War II genre, what was it, Medal of Honor? That was the one, yeah. I think Call of Duty was actually a spin-off at first from some of the developers of the original Medal of Honor. I have to remember, I think it was Call of Duty World at War was the last one that seemed to take the subject matter seriously. I don't know if you finished it. I, I loved World of War when I was younger. Do you remember the story mode, how it ends with the, the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and a big message comes on screen about, you know, 50 million people died, the most horrific event in all of human history? And yep. it takes the subject matter at least like, yeah, this was serious and I also real. remember the Russian campaign in that one, treating the plight of the Russians very seriously, but not treating it as though the, the, the leadership of yeah. the Russian side were anyone to be, you know, considered in favourable light. Whereas these days, it's a bunch of clowns in clown uniforms, black lesbians on either side, killing each other, and they had the Wehrmacht symbol and no Nazi symbols. So, I mean, it so really the just... World, World War II, according to these games, was various factions of black lesbians <laughs> shooting each other in different uniforms. Yeah, so I remember Extra Credits actually made a very reasonable and serious video about why aren't there a bunch of posters talking about, you know, the evil of the Jews when you're walking around Germany to make the point that, no, this was a very serious event where serious things took place. I mean, this is this is also... I never played it, but I remember hearing about, was it Wolfenstein the New Colossus, the second one in that trilogy that they did, where you get this cartoonish vision of the rebel force fighting back, and one of them is a pregnant black woman who shoots a load of Nazis and she's one of the leaders of the resistance. It's it's she's, absolutely ridiculous. She's unbelievably racist to the white guys. Well, I remember. It's like you crackers didn't do nothing, and it's like, what do you mean? Blasco witch is Jewish we as well. The Second World War, <laughs> <laughs> we lost in the game. So, but anyway, whole other conversation. But maybe maybe they should have more uh, horrific things in video games, so then we could deal with difficult questions instead of. Aztec good because he's not the evil Spaniard. Or we can just uh, you know, play games and have fun. <laughs> That's, that That's a remarkable but idea. I'd rather both of those than whatever the hell this is. Modern world. I'll go to the next one though because user was banned for this post. So uh, the dev gave in to the racist, <laughs> says this guy. Because, um, yeah, the, the devs let you play as conquistadors. What a train wreck. Okay, okay, friend. If you go to the next one here, I think this is where the user got banned for this post. Uh, to the people upset about the game, eat steaks, it increases your <laughs> testosterone. True. Lift weights, it increases testosterone. True. Repeat for a year, and you should no longer feel upset about video games. This is very based advice. I wholeheartedly condone this. From user whose name is I'm Literally Retarded, um, he was banned for posting this. Well, he was banned <laughs> for telling low-T incels to improve their lives? Yeah, I don't know. All right, okay. Someone else made a, a good uh, discussion about whether or not they should add the Bible as an in-game weapon for, you know, beating back the Aztecs. User was banned for this post, too. Some guy did make a good point, which is if you do add it, you have to add Wallalo as the uh, the animation for <laughs> taking them out. And also the last thing here, just being, you know, typical online discussion. You're a bunch of woke minorities. They're a bunch of Nazis. Uh, nobody learns anything. <laughs> because, yep. great. We'll go on to the last one here. Someone did mention a uh, re quick reminder that killing millions of natives isn't liberating. What if you do it alongside other natives who are also killing them? Yeah, I mean, what if you're taking out a bunch of genocidal maniacs who have also been, as you point out, genociding other people. Now, as a British person, I disagree with this statement with the following image. If we can get up. But whatever. Germans in the chat gonna gonna re, but we're gonna have bans till we die anyway. But there we are. That's the barbarians getting BTFO'd in the video game, which is um just good fun. Weird debate about politics that wasn't needed, but an awe to enjoy. If you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium contents on the site, such as the Epoch series, this episode on Eleanor of Aquitaine. If you'd like to find out what else is being put out, you can follow on Getter at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.